So welcome. Today we'll be looking at graph of linear inequality. And graph of in graphing linear inequality, there are some things that you notice in graph. I I had to divide it into two parts: before graphing and when graphing. Before graphing, you need to get the equation of the lines, and also point of intersection of the lines. When graphing, you notice that you see some broken, some lines are broken, while some are solid, and also the shading of the required region. So the first, let's do the first part. So the first part is, is finding the equation of the line. In getting the equation of the line, we just use what we call intercept, x and y intercepts. That's how we solve will get the equation of line because for you to get a line you need two points so and the best point to use is the x and y intercept so we normally use x intercepts and y intercepts so x intercept means in the equation substitute y equal to zero and find and, and find x and also y intercept is x equal to zero. So I'm saying that if you have a line the axis like this, x and y axis, wherever the line crosses the x axis, this is the x intercept. So on this line, on the x axis, there are all the x in there are all s intercepts. Why the vertical, the point? They're all y intercepts. So that's it. So the next thing is to get the point of intersection. Use when, if you have more than one line. If you are not given just one line to find the 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 region that will satisfy. Maybe if you are given more than one line, something like this. So we need to get all the point of intersection. It's very important. It helps us to locate, to know the maximum and the minimum. That's when graphing, so that it will contain all the points. So it's very, very, very important. And in doing this, we use, we solve simultaneously. You know, point of intersection. So we just use, we solve simultaneously. So that's just the key. So apart from using, getting the intercepts, you need extra points. That's where the lines intersect. And how do you do it? You solve simultaneously. That's simultaneous equation. So the next one, you notice that we use broken and solid lines. We normally use broken lines if you have use that whenever you see less than or greater than we use broken lines. But if you see a quality sign attached to it, less than or equal to, we now use solid lines so you have to note this so the next one shading of the required region we shade the required region how do you how do you know the region to shade you know once once ever you assuming that's how it is this is the x and y axis if you whenever you plot a line a line we have two boundary this is the line now we have up and down so in order to know which point to shade, we just test picking any point, whether below or above the line. So anyone that side the inequality, you now know which one to choose, whether to, it depends on you, to shade the required or, non -re or the unrequired region. So that's the key. So with that, let's start, let's solve some questions. Just a few examples, simple examples, before we now do the main exam questions. So look at look these are the some exam questions. Just example. It's not exam question. We are asked to show the region that satisfies the following S less than or equal to zero. Y greater than or equal to minus five. S less than or equal to eight. Y greater than so two days. So I will plot the door. I will use graph. I will use a, a, a graph book so that you understand better. So the first thing we'll graph here is X less than or equal to zero. So the, this first one is easy to graph. So we all know that 
So let's get the remember. Uh, we must get the equation of the line, as I said before. So we have we are giving x less than or equal to zero, but the line is x equal to zero, and we know that x equal to zero is our x, our y axis. Another name for x equal to zero is y axis. So I will just do. So the first thing is for us to locate our axis. So we. So this is our y axis and this is our x axis. So this is the origin. I've told you this is less than or equal to zero. So we use a solid line. So our line, I told you our x axis. Our y axis is x equal to zero. So I've said that another name for this is y equal to zero. Why this is x equal to zero? So that's another. Need to shade the required region. This is the x equal to zero. So to the left is less than zero. To the right is greater than zero. And we are asked less than or equal to zero. That's less than zero. So we we'll shade the pen. I always love to shade the unrequired region. So these are the required region less than zero. So I will shade. So this is my required So all this, this the unshaded part is the required why this is the unrequired region. So the next one is to shade greater than or equal to minus y greater than or equal to minus five. So the first thing the equation. So this is also a, this is a horizontal line. So we'll go over to the graph. So we have we need to graph. Let's locate our axis. So this, this is my axis. So this is the origin. This is my y axis. So this is y axis. So the another name is x equal to zero. This is x axis, another than y equal to zero. So this is the origin. Remember, we are asked to shade greater than or equal to minus 5. So we locate the line x if y equal to minus 5. And I, from here, y equal to 0. Down here are numbers less than 0. And if you count, if I count, okay, let's use 1, 1, you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Minus, 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 minus. This is 1, 2, 3. So we draw the line. So this is
So this is line y equal to minus 5. This is y equal to minus 5. So we will shade the unrequired region. I prefer shading the unrequired region. Remember, they told us greater this is required region. So I will shade. So that's it. It's very simple. Coming to the other one, we are asked to the next one. Less than or equal to 8. It's also very simple. We'll draw our axis. So we are asked less than or equal to 8. So let's look at what x equal to 8 first. Remember, I told this, this x less than or equal to 8. So first look at x equal to 8. We now use a tick. We just, we'll use a tick line because it's less than or equal to so we'll go over to the graph so we we look at this our x as is right I told you this x equal to zero. That's another name of our x x as it y equal to zero. This is my origin. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is minus one, minus two, minus three. So that's it down to we are asked to locate x less than or equal to eight. So we'll draw x equal to eight first. So this is it. So this is a vertical line. So we shade, remember they say less than or equal to, so we shade I always like shading the unrequired region. So I will shade this. So this is my required So all this, these points are all the required region. So remember, always write the equation. This, the, the equation of this line. X. So that is it. So coming to the other equation. Is this. Y less than or equal to 2x plus 8. Y less than or equal to 2x plus 8. Y for less than that's y less than equal to two s plus eight. So the first is to get the equation of the line. And how do you get it? Let's use x and y intercepts. So x intercepts y equal to zero. So this is zero equals two x plus eight. So this is minus eight two x, which implies that x is minus four. So meaning the point we have here is minus four comma zero. The other one, y intercepts. 
meaning x is 0. So I substitute x as 0. So y equals 2 times 0 plus 8. So meaning y we implies that y is 8. So the point is 0, 8. So we'll plot this point. So this is our this is our graph book. So let's locate our origin. That, that's the x and y intercept before the origin. Okay, remember they said minus four and so I'll prefer let the origin. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So this is y as is that's s equal to zero. This x as is or y equal to zero. This is my origin. So we have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we need to locate this point, minus 5. So So that's it. That's the line. Okay, let's. So this line. This line. This line. Okay, let's write. This y equal to two x plus eight. So that is the equation of the line. So let's now shade. Remember, in shading, we have to we need to take a point. I told you the line will always partition partition this into two parts, which is the one up and down. So I will always like taking the origin, which is a very important point. So I will test using the origin y equals two x plus a. So using my testing using the origin testing using the origin so we have zero two times zero plus eight and they gave us what's the inequality they said is less than or equal to less than or equal to so so this is less than or equal to and if you see zero is less than or equal to eight which is true so with this you see that the point we are the origin force is the true point that is, is the required point so what i will do now i will shade the unrequired region so i will shade the unrequired region this is the required region the points where the origin falls so this is my unrequired these points Unrequired. So this is my required. So these points are the required region. So it's very simple.